Madhavi Vraja Kacharya Satarasata Sri Sri Madhya's Divine Grace A.C. Bhakti Granta Goswami Maharaj Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai Divine Grace Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Jai Nama Charja Shri Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Prem Shri Gahok Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaur Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopinash Hamakun Radha Kun Giri Govardhan Ki Jai Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai Shri Mai Purnava Dweep Dham Ki Jai Shri Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai Jagannath Swami Baladev Subhadra Ki Jai Gaur Premanandi All glories to the assembled devotees Hare Krishna All glories to the assembled devotees All glories to the assembled devotees All glories, all glories Okay, so so we got through that in more or less one piece. Let me turn this on to so get my notes out. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare. So, how is everybody doing? Yes, no, maybe good, bad, huh? Can you still hear? Hello? Oh, good. Okay. Good. So, uh, let's see. Today, if I can get my notes up, it's coming. It's just now coming. I want to talk about uh, Vedanta Sutra and the uh, different theories of creation. Ah, here we go. Okay. No video today, sorry. We're pushing it just to uh, get the sound to work. Anyway, um, as you know, I completed the first Adhyaya, the first book of Vedanta Sutra the other day, and I published it on uh, lulu.com. So you can all buy a copy. That way, when we have these discussions, um, you can look and see what we're talking about. Um, but today I want to talk about the beginning of the second Adhyaya, the second book of Vedanta Sutra. And uh, basically the second book is about two things. The refutation of the opposing views of different philosophies, including Sankhya, Yoga, different schools of Buddhism, Uh, Kannada, Gautama, and other non-Vedic authors. And uh, then it goes on to concentrate on Sankhya philosophy for quite some time. And it basically refutes the idea that the material universe is caused by matter. Now, where have we heard this before? How about in school? Huh? We're all taught in school that matter is the cause of the universe, the Big Bang. Huh? Then after the Big Bang, after things settled down, <laughs> then we had evolution, random mutations 
of organic chemicals somehow culminating in the most wonderful product of the material world, human beings. Yay. So here we are at the <laughs> pinnacle of evolution. Huh? And what are we? Well, we're just a bag of flesh and bones created by random mutations of pond scum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, anybody who believes that needs their head examined, number one. And uh, number two, we should learn how to question different theories of creation, of maintenance, and of the destruction of the material universe, and, and actually every theory. Every theory should be confirmed by reason, and it should also be confirmed by scripture, because we human beings have four defects. Does anybody know what they are? Anyone remember? Imperfect senses, cheating propensity, what else? Mistakes, and one more. No, that's not it, Peter. <laughs> hmm. Yes, that's right, Neville. We're in illusion. Well, what does that mean? It means that in material consciousness, our only way of getting information is through the senses. And the senses are part of the material body. So they don't really work properly. And one example that's given in the scriptures that was actually rather surprising to me is that when we see an object close up, it appears large. And then when we move away from that object, it appears smaller. Well, what is actually moving away? Just the eyes. Does the object change? No. The object is still the same, but it appears smaller because our eye is farther away. That means the eye is subject to the illusion of perspective. And to prove that perspective is an illusion, those of you who are artists know that you can create the illusion of perspective in a plane by using uh, the rules of drawing and so on. Right, Peter? Peter is an artist. So he should know. He does this all the time. Yeah, there are different tricks that you can use to create the illusion of distance. So distance is an illusion. And the proof of this which comes from a very unlikely source.